This video is going to be tackling keeping the camera inside of the playing area so that you don't want to say, oh, well, my camera went up too high and I got lost and I couldn't find things back. Um, so it's going to be a dynamic expanding boundary for the camera. And I'm thinking that I'm going to create... Um, no, uh, empty object, right? And this is going to have a, let's call this boundary, BRY, and let's set the camera to have, um, actually the camera has a pawn, a spawn position. I'm going to use that as a collider. I, I guess a circle collider is good. I don't know. Just fleshing it out as we go. In camera. There you go. All right. So I now need the boundary to have a edge collider. Where's my edge? All right, there it is. So we now have all of our points that I need to make a boundary. Around our scene. Okay, I've never actually tried, I know that I have my points here, I've never actually tried to manipulate the points. Um, I've got five points, I've got my start and end points should always be the same. So, um, zero and four, those should be the same. There we go. Uh, y on three, which is three. Is that three? Yeah, wow. Okay. Uh, X on that, Y on this, and X on that. And we have a perfect square. Now those points are, as we start laying our tiles down, the position that we place those tiles is going to be important as to where we put these points. So let me just write this down because I know I'm going to forget it. I have um, 0 and 5 are bottom right, uh, 3 was bottom left, sorry, 0 and 4, one of the top 5, 0 and 4, 5 points, but 0 and 4, uh, 3 is bottom left, 2 is top left, and one is top right. Okay, I'm going to need that information later down the road, so I've got it all written out now. <clears throat> How do I go about doing this now? Um, the first things first, let's just make sure that the boundary and the camera do not affect the that collider. So the boundary, I think, do we do it in layers or we do it in tags? Um, edit preferences. I think it's preferences. Um, nope, not preferences. Edit project settings. Physics 2D. Scroll down. Layer collision matrix. So it's going to be using layers. Default, transparent, 
ignore water UI default transfer. Okay, so let us set um, boundary layer. So I'm going to set this spawn position. Hmm. That might stop. It's a child of the camera. The camera might keep on going. I don't, I'm not sure how that's going to work, but let's see if it does. So boundary and boundary, they should interact, but not with anything else and nothing should interact with them. So I want to do project settings. So boundary, all of this turns off. that did it so boundary only right boundary only interacts with boundary and hit play and let's see what happens to my camera when it hits the boundary so that's my spawn position that's my boundary okay so this does not interact with any of that stuff and now if that goes up, it stops, stops. Good. All right, I like that. That works. Uh, on my main camera, I want to make sure that on my rigid body 2D, the pad this half of my students before, continuous. That they hit something hard and it goes right through. that boundary because I did see a slight slight wobble or something but now it shouldn't do it that should that should stop yep stop 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 okay now as the game started I was able to move which is not right As soon as the game starts, all right. So that means that I need to look into when the game starts, cam move false. When it spawns the piece, spawn position, um, where is it? Pick piece. So it picks the piece, it doesn't do it yet, it spawns the piece, and when it spawns the piece, where is it, um, move camera, in spawn piece, somewhere, right. The first piece, if it's not the first piece, I, my piece is spawned, if it is the first piece, I draw. So this could actually be cut out of here because it's shared by both of those things. Do that. So I should not be able to move my camera until I've got a piece. So, I was able to move my camera. Strange. See that? Why is that on? Move camera on GM. Should have been off. I set it to false. I set it to false. Move camera, false. It just means I'll just have to do this. And apply. Okie dokie. Can't move the camera. I want to get the second piece. Now I can move the camera. All right. Right. I'm at my limit. I can't move.
move outside. So this is where I need so the camera must be able to come to at least that spot, the highest spot, and then plus a little bit extra, I'm thinking. So double that, that height. So maybe up to where that purple spot is at the top. So let's try and figure out how we're going to do that. When a piece is laid, it's got to check all of its points are, no. I'm going to check the position of the piece that's laid. All right, which means, okay, the, the game manager needs to have a couple of stuff here. Um, let's put a space in here so I can see it all. Space, oops. 30. Public float um, top. Public float bottom. Public float left. Public, low, right. And I don't like using generic terms like that. Something might go wrong. Uh, top, boundary. Bottom boundary, left, or max, max. No, boundary. Boundary's good. Boundary, save. Okay. I want this uh, Why is the boundary set at that? Okay Boundary should be at zero Spawn position should... Okay Right Got it to boundary. Boundary should be. You know what? This size is good enough. Um, let's do our point and let me say two. Five minus two. Um, two. And two. Uh, minus two by two, minus two by minus two, and two by minus two. And there was an error. Wait. What did I do here? Space. Oh. All right, so that should be large enough, but then as soon as the game starts, it's going to resize that anyhow. So I can, I can make that large, and the game starts, it's going to resize it. So this is a, this is a good movement for the start of my game. Um, oh, I might have to put some physics in here. So let's just do a folder with materials. Uh, folder. Materials. And new. Where do I do that? It is uh Physics material 2D. Friction zero. Camera. Uh, materials. 
and that, and the boundary, if in that, it should be good. Yay. Perfect. All right. So let's set up our boundary now. Um, I want to do, how do we do this now? Uh, once it is dropped. The drop piece at the end of the drop piece. If we count and everything, before I start my camera back, because the camera starts back where? The camera starts back up here. Um, way before the position was done. I don't like that. No. Move camera should not be started before I actually drop the piece. After everything, then I can start the camera. But before the camera starts to move, I want to expand boundary. And this is before the current tell is now part of the world. So expand boundary. Now, the location of, so, um, do, 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 do. I don't care about the Z, so I want to do a float. current x is equal to the current tile dot transform dot position dot x float current y is going to be equal to current tile dot Transform dot position dot y. <clears throat> if we need to spell better. If current y is greater than, sorry, if top boundary is less than, no. If it's, yeah, uh, so top's there, that's less than current Y. Then, then top boundary becomes, top boundary is equal to current Y. So I'm going to need about four of these. 
because I want to check the bottom boundary now. The bottom boundary is greater than current y. So there's the bottom boundary. It's higher. Yep. Then bottom boundary is going to shift downwards. Uh, so left boundary. This is going to be left if it is less, if it's greater than current x. Then left boundary becomes current x. Right boundary is less than current x. And right boundary is going to be equal to current x. So that will. Oh, uh, I also need to apply some buffers. So current. Current boundary will be equal to top boundary. I want to add so plus uh, two f. Uh, this will be minus two f. This will be plus something. No, uh, we're going left uh, minus two f, and this will be plus two f. That will expand those things. Now I would need to just dial all of that into the actual collider. Um, I'm going to need access to that collider then, meaning public. Um, that was a edge collider to D, DC. I think I might need to start a little further out. Um, let's do four. Or four. Minus four. Four, four. Minus four, four. Minus four, mi minus four. Four, minus four. Okay. So it's still within my camera space, but it's larger to give me a little building room. And it's not going to start expanding until I get further out. I told it to add two. It's two enough. Two should be enough. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, I have actually told it to expand. N. Now, I don't know how to do this. EC dot what am I looking for points points zero dot zero uh, it was effect two. So let me put um, effect two top start the correct way. Bottom right equals new vector two bottom boundary, comma right boundary. Bottom left, top left, top right, 
go bottom and left boundary, top boundary and left boundary, top boundary and right boundary. Okay, so that is equal to bottom right. And it works. That, that's how I do it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Bottom left. Top left. Top right. And back to bottom right again. Save. Whew. Let's see if this works. Okay, so there's my boundary in green, and I'm going to move this, something happened. Why did it not spawn a new one? Um, what happened just now? But that for some reason it's not not like spawn position. I don't see any errors. Oh, there's an error. Oh yes. Okay. Stupid me. Um, game all the way down. There it is. I need my edge glider so I can expand it. And I want to take a look at it there. So it's going to set these things here. Nope, it didn't set anything. But the boundary's already set up. Points. Boundary. There it is. Okay, so cut that and that. Now hit. I want to add that. Now if I add this, that, if I go up more, All right, I can't get past here. That makes sense on my boundary. And my boundary should expand. And it didn't. It didn't, it didn't. GM. Uh, top boundary is now set to three. Why? Why? That line that I just did, where is he? He's at three. But I told it to add two to whatever the current drop one is. <clears throat> Top boundary, bottom boundary, left boundary, right boundary. Okay. Uh, the current tells position in Y. So if the top boundary current y plus two, maybe that's it. Minus 2f, minus 2f, plus 2f.
a boundary points. Okay. It should be getting higher. Oops, that didn't alter one bit. Go at minus four. Sorry, uh, that these points here are that's uh, zero, one, this is two and three. Two and three, the y. Hold on. Three, y is y. Negative four. Does make any sense? This is y. Three. Did I number those? How did I number those wrong? How did that happen? This is zero. Three is I don't know what I was doing. Um three I have, right, I have three bon oh wait. It's three bottoms. Look at me. Three is bottom left. Three is bottom left. The one is top right. Albeit, I'm not sure if that's still going to work here, but we'll see. Stop. Play. Boundary. Let me see your points. All right. So, I'll go up. And up. That and nothing happened. Okay, I'm just going to try and figure it out. Um, so I'll put it on pause and come back when I figured it out. Actually, I've realized this video is going over 30 minutes. So, actually, no, I'll figure it out and I'll wrap everything up in one video for this. Okay, I can finally end this off. Um, so it was something weird that I could not actually set every single, each of the points by their index number. What I had to do was I had to create a, an array, so I called it something, so let's call it, um, round points, and I can fill all these in. I have no more need for this debug. I have no need for this debug. And so now once I have now in bound points, I can set up an array. I can put all those things in an array. And then now I can set the points to the array. So I couldn't do it separately, but I can do it all as one go. So now Hit play. Uh, there's my boundary. So I can see the boundary there. As I come up here, I can't go past my boundary. So I'm going to lay this tile down here. Once I did that, you see all my boundary stretch at the top. If I do this, it should stretch to the left. This should stretch again. So my boundary is going to continuously update, keep my puzzle inside of my boundary. So 
So it's always going to remain on the screen. And that way I can't get lost. All right. Now I can finally stop this video.